How you doing? Uh, vintage bikes have never been so popular. Um, every advert site you go on to, there's um, steel frame racing bikes, even mountain bikes now. Um, they're selling like hotcakes. Um, a lot of good stuff up there, but there's also a lot of junk. A lot of people are buying um, old 80s and 70s racing bike frames and they're um, turning them into fixed wheel bikes, which I absolutely deplore, I absolutely hate. Um, anyway, that's another matter. I'm just going to show you some of the uh, things to look out for when you're buying an old bicycle. Uh, some cyclists have discerning taste and uh, they would prefer um, a classic steel bike rather than um, buy that carbon malarkey that everybody's buying. Let's check out some things on steel bikes that you should look out for if you are buying them. This Thunoda Eclipse is easily over 30 years old and um, there is some uh, rust spots on the frame, uh, nothing too serious, but I'm not going to um, respray it because it just isn't going to look right if I do. I'll never get that colour and then I lose the decals. Um, things to look out for with steel always, because there's a lot of mutton dressed up as lamb, uh, is that make sure that the um, lugs, and these are called lugs, it's where the uh, tubes join each section. If you see a really, really nice bike and it's got cracks, um, walk away because that's the frame gone. Uh, you can weld them and fix them, but uh, it's just not worth it and you will have to repaint and stuff. Um, fork crowns, very important. I mean here, that's just a scratch. But if you see any cracks on the fork crown, walk away. Uh, unless you have a spare fork, but it's unlikely you get the same one for the old model you're looking at. Dropouts. Uh, these are very very important uh, these attach the wheel to the uh, fork any splits or cracks here walk away you just don't want it here we see the rear dropouts uh, like I said again any splits or cracks um, walk because um, if these come apart when you're traveling down a hill you could uh, be injured or killed bottom bracket okay make sure there's no bad play in it but even things like that can be adjusted uh, but one thing to remember, if a bike has been cycled for 20 years with a bad bottom bracket, well then you could have a lot of uneven wear on the axle. It may not be possible to get the exact axle. Um, things like um, derailleurs, these can be changed. Uh, I mean, I bought this Suntour Honor because I wanted to have a bike with a Suntour Honor on it. And I stuck it on here. That was like really cheap. Uh, so you could pick them up quite easily. So things like that I wouldn't really worry about too much. Chains. Um, gears you're probably gonna to have to change them anyway unless they've been changed already uh, cranks make sure they're intact no splits or cracks make sure that the um, pedals screw on and off because you might want to change them if you can't screw a pedal on and off and if the threads are gone well then you can't you can only use one set of pedals and that's really limiting brakes uh, again these can be replaced um, these are Weenman brakes uh, they're quite still very easy to get uh, change your brake blocks anyway they're probably going to be gone unless somebody's replaced them Brake levers, still easy enough to get them, uh, especially the old wean mans are cheap. A saddle, um, that's something you're going to probably want to change anyway, along with handlebar tape, uh, brake cables, all these things can be changed. With an old bike, it's usually the frame you're going to have to worry about. So, um, you know, like I said, make sure um, that the frame is perfect. Like here, you can see this old Rally Pulsar frame. Um, the rust is bad enough in this that it's after eating into it. Um, see the paint has gone on top. Down here, this is where the uh, danger is. There's a crack. Um, this can be fixed by some professional welder, but it's probably not worth the, 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 not worth the hassle. And wheels. Um, usually, all the old bikes I find, usually the wheels are pretty clapped. Um, you're probably going to have to get new wheels. It's still very easy to get wheels. Um, there's a lot of uh, wheels out there now at good prices. Um, so usually back wheels would be the worst. If you're looking at a bike and the owner is telling you that the uh, wheel is good, check all around the rim, make sure there's no splits or cracks in it, make sure all the spokes are in it. Some wheels are quite good, I mean they do last, like these Mavics. Um, they must be, oh, must be easily 25 years old and they're still perfect. Check the hubs uh, for cracks and splits. Make sure that there's no rumbling coming out of the bearings. Tires, uh, 
pass on tires because you're going to have to change tires anyway and usually most second hand bikes will have poor tires unless the seller has put new tires on. Chain rings, uh, make sure that they're um, not buckled, make sure all the teeth are there, make sure they're not worn. Um, all these checks take time but uh, it saves you money in the long run. Uh, beware of fake stickers on bikes. Um, say for argument's sake you were Reynolds 531 and it was really really heavy. Um, unless it's got massive um, heavy um, metal parts on it. Uh, but if it's got all alloy, alloy parts and it's heavy, well then uh, there's you could kind of smell a rat there. Because you can buy these stickers online very easily. Rear cassettes, these can easily be bought again. Uh, you probably would have a bit of trouble now buying 6 and 7 speed, but there are, there are some online. Um, I've bought a few myself, so they're still out there. So when thinking about buying a bike, uh, you know, ask yourself the questions. Um, what, what do I need it for? Am I just going to cycle around town? Um, am I going to go on long training sessions? Am I going to join a cycling club? Um, all these things take into consideration. Um, you don't need um, the up to the minute technology, like carbon and all that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of people are making carbon now. Um, you can get cheap carbon bikes. Um, these bikes are disposable. Whereas on the other hand, a steel bike is a lot more um, you know, uh, fixer friendly. You can do a lot with it. Uh, I'm not saying steel is the best. Um, there's some competition steel bikes out there too, and they are very, very expensive. But what I'm trying to say is, carbon isn't the ultimate option. Um, you also have aluminium. Bikes are a fantastic way to uh, keep fit. It's great exercise. It's a great way to get out on a summer's day. You'd be surprised how far you can get on a bike, even if you're not that fit. So yeah. Um, just, uh, you know, get off your ass, get off the couch, and get on your bike and ride.